Good afternoon, students, teachers, parents, and our valued guests. Welcome to the celebration of Grade 10 MYP Completion Ceremony. My name is Sinta. Saya Rizal. And we will be your host this afternoon. Selamat siang, siswa, guru, orang tua, dan tamu yang kami hormati. Selamat datang di perayaan Completion Ceremony Siswa Kelas 10 tahun, tahun ajaran 2020-2021. Today and tomorrow, we will be celebrating the achievements of our great time. And to start this ceremony, please stand up for our national anthem, followed by the school hymn. Hari ini dan besok, kami akan merayakan capaian prestasi bagi kelas 10. Untuk memulai acara hari ini, silakan berdiri untuk lagu kebangsaan Indonesia Raya dan Hipnes Sekolah Ciputra. Bersama sekolah tim 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will invite Mr. Martin Blackburn, the Executive Principal, and Mr. Terry Swain as the High School Coordinating Principal to give a speech. Dilanjutkan oleh Bapak Neil Henderson selaku Koordinator MYP untuk memberikan pernyataan resmi ketuntasan program belajar MYP. Oh, congratulations, Grade 10, on this amazing achievement. The MYP is not easy. To have all the different learning styles combined together, built around the learner profile and the uh, approaches to learning, is not easy. The way that you guys have managed to take these ideas, to develop your ideas, the way that you've blended entrepreneurship, you know, that spirit of entrepreneurship that we talk about, into your learning, and just grown as a cohort is really impressive. So I, I really do want to thank you for all the amazing contributions you've made, the great job that you've done, and wish you all the very best of luck as you transition through to the full IB and your final qualification in the school. But right now, just reflect on a job well done. Congratulations. Hi everyone. Today we recognise and celebrate the completion of Grade 10 by Grade 10 students. And here at College of Butcher, we are not only trying to teach you the knowledge that you may need in your future lives, but we're also concerned about the type of people you become. And it is, of course, very important that for you, well, that you understand who you are, um, how the world works, and how we organise ourselves. I think it'd be fair to say that it's just as important um, for you to be caring to be open-minded, uh, to be principled, and to be a communicator, um, regardless of what your future holds. I wonder sometimes with the words like caring, inquiring, and principled um, that we often use in the school, sometimes lose their meaning. For example, are you a caring person if you lend someone a pen or a pencil in one class, and then in the very next class, you choose to talk about someone behind his or her back? Are you truly an inquirer if you complete an excellent science uh, project and yet choose not to submit um, an important humanities assignment simply because you find humanities boring? Do you always do what is right even when no one is watching? And do you take time to question what is right? Now, our thoughts about right and wrong um, come from our experiences um, and you've got to understand that you know, different people have different experiences. So if you don't open yourself to questioning your beliefs or your own beliefs, you know, can you really give yourself um, uh, full marks for being principled? I do think this problem of assuming uh, that we are right, that we're more principled than others, um, plays a big part in many issues we face in our world today. Uh, such as intolerance, corruption, warfare. And, you know, these are big, big problems. And at first glance, 
they may seem unsolvable. But the solution has to come from all of us being a little bit more humble and a little bit more reflective. Now, we don't know what kind of person you're trying to become. You know, you're going to be a scientist, you're going to be a politician, you're going to be a teacher, don't do it. Or are you going to be a parent who stays at home and looks after your children? You know, we really don't know. I recall a student once I, I, that I taught quite a number of years ago now, and she complained about um, a particular concept in mathematics um, that we were looking at. And I said to her that it, if she could tell me all of the things that uh, she planned to do in the future, then I would promise to teach her only the mathematics um, that she would need for that. Otherwise, I'd have to make uh, my best guess. Talking of best guess, here's my best guess for all of you. In order for you to find success in this world and, and to make a positive impact on this world and therefore for this world to be a better place and a safer place, you need to work on a few things. You need to work on being more knowledgeable than you currently are. You need to work on uh, being more caring, more principled than you are. You need to work on being a better risk taker and being more open-minded. And just because you've completed grade 10 doesn't mean that it's finished. You, like everyone else, are not the finished product. But I do hope that this is a time where you reflect deeply on who you are and what you believe in. And, you know, I can't tell you what the future um, has in store for you. Um, but I do hope that by dedicating yourself to lifelong uh, learning, lifelong uh, reflection will play a, a part in making this world a, a much better and a much peaceful place, a more peaceful place than it currently is. Congratulations on making it to the end of grade 10, everybody. Grade 11 is waiting for you just around the corner. Have a great day. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mr. Henderson. I'm the NYP coordinator here at St. Cora de I just want to say what an amazing journey we have had this crazy year. Arriving here today represents a significant achievement for a number of people. Firstly, I would like to thank the teachers and parents. Thank you for your dedication and commitment to the students over the past year. Thank you for facilitating this difficult journey in unforeseen times. To all the people behind the scenes within the school, such as the library staff, the high school admin staff, Marcom, security, all those people you don't normally get to see, such as the ICT department, the cleaners and the maintenance staff working in the background. I need to say you're making an impact in the lives of our students and the world needs people like you. But the people we're here to celebrate are the students before us online today. While teaching this year, I've experienced the diverse students that make up our current grade 10 and witness the many challenges they have been faced with and are going to continue to be faced with as they continue on to the diploma. The year began with apprehension, nervous energy and uncertainty in these current times. The students open themselves up to new people, new teachers, an unknown program, an uncertain challenge and a big step to push their comfort zone wider especially those students who have not stepped into any of the Sokolaja Putra in classrooms. I and all the teachers have seen the potential of all our students every day, but we, or even you, don't always see them reaching that potential. This year, I saw the students, all different, all facing different challenges, all climbing a little closer to reaching their potential. I've seen these students a few months later in classes following directions, learning, making decisions, leading, teaching, sharing stories, making friends, achieving success, overcoming setbacks and stepping up to challenges. And I hope they continue to grow this way. This year has shown me the power of positivity. Positive people in a positive environment can achieve great things. I'm sure the students will carry this positivity forward with them for the rest of their lives and use this experience as proof that they can achieve anything they set their minds to. I'm very proud of what you've achieved and I'm honoured to be here today to succeed.
celebrate their success with all of you. Congratulations Grade 10 on completion of your MYP journey. Thank you, Mr. Martin, Mr. Perry, and Mr. Nate. Inilah saatnya yang kami tunggu-tunggu. Sambutlah siswa kelas 10, 1, 10, 2, dan 10, 3. Stand one. Aaron Zali Kriniker. Aileen Beatrice Lay. Albert James Irawa. Alessia Arista Fudiono Amelia Harson Ariel Evan Widodo Audrey Saint Adi Seputro Kalista Kurniawan Charles Haryono Teguh Clarissa Olivia Lee Suyui Lau Tien and Rachel Mark Alexander Chandra Muhammad Aksa Sandi Pradipta Tantu Angelina Anna Hanjaya Audrey Medellin Wijaya Benedicta Nadia Evangelis Chris Owen Setiopo Krista Hana Agusali Christopher Winatalias Kristel Graciela Lukman Fahira Zainal Arifin Hector Ariel Lee Joy Jani Tenarianto Michael Aaron Lee Michael Kartika Anthony Auricia Thea Evelyn Santoso Bradley Nathaniel Wijaya Brian Renaldo Santosa Carla Jocelyn Limanto Cleo Allegra Dave Ignacio Santoso Devin Gilbert Santosa Najwa Heraspati Nur Sakina Rio Muliawa Ryan David Kosasili Zahni Hafiz Atsari Wow, congratulations. When parents are engaged in their children's school lives, students have the home support and knowledge not only to finish their assignments, but also to develop a lifelong, lifelong love of learning. Sekarang saatnya perwakilan orang tua kelas 10 akan memberikan pidatonya. Tepat setelah itu, kita akan melihat prosesi dari kelas 10, 4, 10, 5, dan 10, 6. Sekarang sambutlah dengan hangat perwakilan orang tua dari kelas 10, Bapak Irwan Sentosa. Hi, I'm Irwan. I'm Devin Parents. The first time I want to say thanks to the guard that have blessed us until today. And I also thanks to Sekolah Ciputra that have educated Devin until he graduates. And I was also thanks to the principals and all the teachers and all the people that help and supporting Devin in Sekolah Ciputra. i am become a Devin parent very proud today because he can graduate from Sekolah Ciputra and love of achievement that he can achieve uh, in Sekolah Ciputra. He more independence and more responsibility and knowledgeable. And I hope for the next, as Sekolah Ciputra is going better and Devin also have more mature to make a decision for his life 
and the decision for his next study. Thanks for all. Bye bye. Ten four. Gracia Irawa. Jefferson Tanto. Jennifer Leongle. Jordan Joy. Kellyn Katrina Gonga. Messiani Polesa Luis Tanto. Nasha Lila Nanda. Nikita Alicia Munir. Patricio Stefan Mulianto. John John Collin. Shidarta Gutama Wintoro. Wenny Wibisono. Ten five. Chelsea Aurelia New. Elsa Nova Azaro. Arvina Tanto Wijaya. Felicia Ko. Gabriel Galu Susanto Putra. Jolin Jovanka Effendi. Luke Richard Taylor. Matthew Jokro Joyo. Maureen Artamevia. Owen Jose Theodoris. So Lady Emerald Suchahyo. Stanley Nathaniel Topic. 10-6. Brandon Hendrickson. Christopher Alexander Lima. Darren Edgar Sangon. Jennifer Chandra. Jaslyn Angelica Tan Chandra Jillian Page Bandrio Joylin Tan Michael Sugiarjo Owen Huang Wijaya Patricia Jaslyn Onggora Harjo Tom Aristo Nimpuna Warren Ondoro Yumiko Gisel Suryadi A heartfelt thank you to Mr. Irwan Santosa for those words. And also congratulations to grade 10, boom, boom, 4, 5, and 6. We still have three classes to go, so stay tuned. Selanjutnya, kita akan mendengarkan Russell Yang sebagai perwakilan siswa dan diikuti oleh completion ceremony dari kelas 10, 7, 10, 8, dan 10, 9. Hello and good afternoon to all my friends, teachers, parents, and distinguished guests. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Russell Liam and I come from class 10E. I would like to first sincerely thank this school's most respected board and this year's NYP 10 teachers. My friends, without realizing it, we have spent four years in NYP, and although the road hasn't always been smooth, in the end we faced all of the problems and challenges along the way, and I couldn't be more proud for all of us here. I would like to first begin by telling you a little story about my early years in NYP, so let's go back four years in time. In 2017, I recently graduated from QIP and stepped to work for the first time in NYP was both a very exciting and a very petrifying moment. Honestly, I would say that I was quite a troublemaker back then, but despite my ignorance and my naughtiness, my teachers and friends supported me all through the way. And in the end, I actually enjoyed my time in NYP7 despite all of my negative thoughts in the beginning. I learned many subjects I've never learned before and I really like some of them. Fast forward to a year later, and little did we know, we were already in our second year in NYP. 
grade 8 was relatively similar to grade 7. And honestly speaking, I had forgotten most of the things I did in grade 8. But I do know one thing for certainty, and that is grade 8 was a good year. If you ask me which year did you like the most was, I would undoubtedly say that it was grade 9. The memories I made with every single one of my classmates, my friends, and even the teachers were just too memorable to lose, and I loved every single moment of grade 9. If I had to relive one day in grade 9, I would most definitely do it because it was that good. Of course, there were regrets, but too few to mention. For me, grade 9 was the beginning of a new start for us. Many of us have become better people and have become wiser in a way. Unfortunately, I didn't get to finish the last term in grade 9 conventionally due to COVID-19. The virus was first detected in early March of 2020 and just by a blink of an eye, the government imposed lockdown measures and this meant we couldn't go back to school. Honestly, I was quite excited when we had to do school from the comfort of our homes because I was starting to get bored by school by then. But hey, I do take my word back because now I realize that I could have done so much more with my friends and teachers had the pandemic never started. Grade 10 was rather depressing, not because of school. It was depressing because I was starting to get bored by then. We had so many wonderful new teachers and students this year and I could imagine we could have gotten to know each other less awkwardly had we been in school. I was placed into a newly formed class but got along with relatively everybody quite well in life. One thing I have to mention is that the school has done an extraordinary job in ensuring that us students get the same level of education and the same learning experience as if we were still in school and in our seats listening to the teachers in front of us. I must say though, the one thing that is hard for me is temptation. Learning from home has brought some temptation in the form of not listening to our teachers and doing something else. Not only that, but I kind of feel bad for our teachers because, you know, they're trying to work things out for us by talking to us. And in return, we barely talk back and have a proper conversation with them. There were even times where the teachers had to call us multiple times so that we would respond to them. And honestly speaking, I guess this is due to the awkwardness. Picture this, back in school, we used to talk all the time, and regardless of whether or not people were listening to us, we would feel less awkward this way, because absolute silence for an extended period of time is a killer for confidence. After all, it's like talking with somebody, but at the same time, many years are listening to you too. But the pandemic isn't all that bad. I'm grateful for it too, because it also enabled me to talk and get close to people I had never been close to before. And yeah, I guess it's a good thing. After this, every one of us will take different pathways. Some of us will be joining the diploma program, while others will be joining UDP. My hope is simple. Regardless of whichever pathway we take, we shall always remember the experiences we had together in our years at NYP and utilize the knowledge we have learned over the years and make good use of them because the best is yet to come. It is time for us to finish our chapter in, in MYP and begin a new chapter in whichever pathway we take. As for myself, I know I finished MYP without regrets at all. And all in all, I did it my way. So thank you everybody, God bless you and stay safe. Seven. Kathleen Nicole Witong, Clarissa Priscilla Sutanto, Jonathan Sanjay, Michael Kantansa, Miao Chima, Patrice Emily Setio Budi, Rafael Ethan Anthony. Sharon Salim, Shinet Gloria Dior Firmanto, Theo Vincent Harianto, Victoria Ashley Pramoko, 
Zidane Julio Junior. 10 8. Sindita Anissa. Darren Vanderly. Gerald Alexander. Joanna Vincentius. Joshua Muntu. Michael Sean Gunawan. Pierce Dixon. Priscilla Jocelyn Wijaya. Shane Sugi Wijaya. Sheila Evangeline Putri Litan. Tiffany Priscilla Sapri. Vanessa Samuela. 10 9. Benedict Theodore. Catherine Irawa. Fata Putra Lianto. Felicia Faye Lesmana. Joshua Davis Pranata. Nadia Suryo Sutomo. Nicholas Anchan An. Russell Yang. Sonia Suwarga. Stanislav Nathaniel Santoso Vanessa Christina Gunawa Fiona Junaidi Congratulations, Great Ten, Homeroom 7, 8, and 9. The time has arrived for us to honor several exceptional students. First, we will honor the student for completing the best personal project. And the best personal project goes to Nadia Suryo Sutomo from 109. Congratulations, Nadia. Berikutnya, kami akan memberikan apresiasi kepada siswa dengan service action terbaik, yaitu Sidan Julio Junior dari 107. Selamat Sidan. Now, Nasha will provide our final item for this unique online celebration. She will lead the prayer to close this MYP completion ceremony. Setelah itu, kami akan mengadakan sesi foto untuk setiap kelas dan para wali kelas setelah doa. Jadi, siswa dan para wali kelas atau homeroom harap tetap di Zoom. Friends, teachers, and parents, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, as we come to the end of our time together, we thank you for what has been accomplished through the four years we have spent in the Middle Years program. Lord, thank you for the teachers, friends, and family you have brought to support us. Thank you for all the laughter and the wonderful time we shared. We thank you for guiding us through all our challenges and obstacles, and we are eternally grateful that you broadened our minds through each person sharing their ideas. Lord, please guide us in the coming years so that our relationships strengthen whilst we also develop individually. Please give us strength, courage, and kindness in everything we do. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Nasha. So students and homeroom teachers, again, please stay on Zoom for our photo sessions. And to all of you, we would like to say thank you for being here today. The grade 10 students and parents, don't forget to come to the drive through ceremony tomorrow. We're looking forward to meeting you. Kita masih menantikan semuanya untuk completion ceremony secara drive through pada besok. Dan kami mengucapkan terima kasih semuanya, selamat tinggal, dan sampai jumpa di kesempatan.